Very good morning to Dr. Amir. My name is Wei Yanji. Today I will represent for Group 5 to choose a AI group activity. And here uh, I want to explain why I didn't show my face because the software which I use cannot show the face but only can do the um, screen record. That's why. Uh, so today, first I will explain the forward pass. Uh, for the forward pass, uh, it means uh, from the input layer directly go to the output layer. And here uh, we have three inputs. And the input layer has no neurons. So it means the X will directly go into this flow as uh, X1, X2, and X3. And here the example you give us, uh, you have mentioned that uh, there's no bias. So for our calculation, we don't con consider the bias. And uh, as you can see from, from the finger, uh, I have sh uh, chose uh, the labels for each output and the weight of each node. So uh, we can see from the next page, the next one, next one, next two, next three, next four, for the, uh, for the hidden layer, the four nodes. So for the forward pass, it's very simple. We just go uh, follow the direction, like the node one of input layer go to the node one of hidden layer, and the output one one and the weight one one of hidden layer, and the node two of input layer go to the hidden layer node one. It's output two of input layer and the weight to one of hidden layer and the x3 go to the hidden layer node one is output three of input layer and the weight uh, three one of the hidden layer and it's then the repeat uh, this one two three x1 x2 x3 go to the node 2 of hidden layer, node 3 of hidden layer, node 4 of hidden layer. Just follow the symbols here. And then from the hidden layer to the output layer, so uh, we can see from, from this, uh, this, this equation. So the net one of the output layer is from the 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 node of hidden layer go to the output layer, the node 1. So it's O1 of hidden layer, O2 of a hidden layer, O3 of a hidden layer, and O4 of the hidden layer go to the weight of the weight 1 1 of the output layer, weight 2 1 of the hidden layer, and weight 3 1 of the hidden layer, and the weight 4 1 of the hidden layer. So the output O1, O2, O3 for each layer means the output of the each layer. And the output of each layer is equal to, we can see from here, equal to F multiple, F nate uh, one of the hidden layer. So uh, this, uh, this, this, this is about the forward pass, the next one. So for the o, uh, output two, output three, output four of the hidden layer, and also the output, output actually is output and the node one, output and the node four, output, output of and the node three. So this is how to calculate the output and the net. So next I will explain the, the backward pass. The backward pass uh, is we already know it's backward, so it already changed the direction. It's from the last layer towards to the uh, first layer. So we can, so for this uh, example, I will explain um, changes in the way to one of the output layer that affects the total error, which is uh, DE over DW21 of the output layer and the gradient of the 
uh, we cannot say it data. Okay, it's update weight to one of the output layer. So we can see from the uh, graph. We can see from the graph actually is uh go through uh output layer to the node one, node two, node three, node four of the hidden layer. Uh, I also uh give the samples of the each output and the weight. So uh I forgot to mention that for the the hidden layer it has a Input function, there are two functions. First one is the input function and is, uh, another one is active function. So we, we, we need to discuss, uh, we need to uh, know about this, this one. And we can see uh, the, the update uh, W21 of the output layer equals to alpha multiple the delta E over delta W21 of the output layer and the delta E over the delta W21 of the output layer equals delta E over the delta Y hat multiple the delta Y hat over the delta net uh, of the hidden layer, net one of the hidden uh, output layer and multiple the delta net one of the output layer over the delta W21 of the output layer. And first we, to, to get the equation, we need to know about the delta, first delta net one of the output layer over the delta output uh, weight to one of the output layer. So we can see from the the uh, graph we can see uh, it's equal to the uh, this one. Oh sorry. It's equal to the output uh, output uh, Output at the 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 high, uh, node two of the hidden layer, and then next we need to uh, calculate new the delta y hat over the delta net one of the hidden layer. It 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 is we can see the y hat here is equal to the uh, the f net uh one of the output layer, but here we haven't uh, decided which uh, uh, we haven't decided which which uh, function we're gonna use. So we just use the f prime on net one tree here. And uh, next, we need to know about delta e of the for the every every uh, answer. We just follow the the Symbols, the labels, and the roots here, and uh, the each neural neural flows here, just to see the the directions and the the weight and the output and uh, of each node. So here we can see uh, the delta e over delta y hat. So we can see uh, here. Here, e is equal to one over two uh, multiple y minus y hat squared. So we just differentiate uh, differentiate this equation, and we can get the delta e over delta y hat equals to minus y uh, negative uh, y minus y hat, and this is equals to the error one of the output layer is a local error. So for each node, it has a two functions. So it has the advection functions and also the input function. Then we can we need can know this equation delta e over delta w two one three is equals to 
uh, negative y minus y hat multiple f prime net one of the output layer multiple the uh, output two of the hidden layer. Then we need we we need to calculate uh, this part. We or this part. So we can see from this graph that we already know this is equals to the local gradient theta one of the hidden layer. And the theta one of the hidden layer, the local gradient equals to the F prime net one uh, of the output layer multiple the local a root so the upgrade the upgrade weight to one of the output layer is we already mentioned at the beginning so this equation and from this equation second equation and we already know the delta e over the delta v to one of the output layer is equals to theta one of the output layer multiples the output uh, output of the node two of the hidden layer. So next one, uh, this the uh, Output layer. Output layer is uh, is done. So next, I will explain. Uh, we can see from this graph, the upper layer is down here. So then we will go to the second second layer, the hidden layer. So for for the hidden layer, I choose to explain the weight one one of the hidden layer. It's them the same equation but that's just different different layer different different weight update weight so from the output layer we already get the answer we already get the get it it's a third one of the output layer and we can see uh, this one delta next one of the output layer over delta output one of the hidden layer is, you can see from here, it, the weight is W11 of the output layer. So from this equation, now we get the local area of the output uh, of the node one of the hidden layer is equal to Theta one of output layer multiple the W one one of a uh, output layer. Uh, sorry. And then we need to calculate. We need to know about the delta one of a uh, hidden layer, uh, delta output one of a hidden layer, and the delta net one of a uh, output layer. We can see the delta the net one of a uh, hidden layer is can see from this flow is w one one two uh o one two plus uh, w two one two uh o two one and plus w three one of a hidden layer multiple output tree of the first layer so we get the uh f prime net one two and th then we, we we need to know about the the last part of this equation, delta net one of the uh, hidden layer over the delta w11 of the hidden layer. So all this we can get from the graph. Go from here until the hidden layer and go to this uh, input layer. So we can see the output is output one of the input layer. So then we get the third one of 
the hidden layer is equal to a delta E over the delta net one of the, the hidden layer is equal to F prime net one of the hidden layer multiple the error, local error one of the hidden layer and the update weight of, of one one of the hidden layer is equal to alpha multiple the delta E over the delta E one one delta w11 of the hidden layer so it equal to the r for multiple the delta one of hidden layer the multiple the output one of the uh, first layer so this is about the the process of the hidden layer so for the back word bus the hidden layer for each node for each block uh, the way to get the answers are same and also the output layer so the way to get it is is exactly same as what I, I have explained so this back word pass for the vector form so as we already know uh, so the for the first layer for the output layer is uh, local error one of the output layer is equal to y minus y hat and the delta one of the is a delta one of the actually it's a local gradient okay local gradient of the output layer is f prime next one of output layer times the local error of the output layer so the hidden line for the hidden layer we already know the local error and the local gradients equals to W uh, e, e over two uh, W E uh, W one one of the hidden layer multiple the local gradient one of the output layer. So we just uh multiple the these two parts, this this part and this part, the in matrix form, and then this one is in vector form. And here is the same. This is a dot per dot, and this is the part met, part met per dot. So it's different for, uh, from the from the from the dot per, per dot. So for the part met per dot, it means uh, a dot then times multiple p and for dot for that is a multiple b so that's the, that's the difference for these two products and the general steps or the process process uh, based on this example so first we need to initialize the weight and a value set number of layer so the number of layer of this uh, example is uh, equal to three the input layer, output layer, and the hidden layer. And the second step is enter the input from the training data x, y, and obtain the neural net, uh, network's output. Actually, uh, is to get the arrow. The arrow is is the natural y minus the created y. So here we need to compare comp compare with the y hat and the y to get the arrow. For the forward pass, we need to uh, get this one and then calculate the local error of output neural delta and of the output neural. So here is the we 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 already know the layers here, so we just say it and e three equals to y minus y hat, and here is the third hat three of the five uh, f prime and nate three. Uh, multiple e two. So, propagate the output. Actually, the m m m. Uh, actually, the m is the 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 number of the the layer. So, for the number four, for for k two two, it's actually is m minus k two two. So, for for this one. Ooh, k minus 2 equals 2 and here also 2 and here 3 and this one is also 2 and 
f prime and lead to a uh, permit uh, e arrow of the uh, two layer two. So here we just three minus one k equals to m minus one two two. And adjust the weight according to the following learning rules. So it's L equals two to three. So the delta, this is not delta, sorry, it's the update weight. Update weight L equals to alpha and delta L and the output L minus one. L minus one and the W L equals to W L plus update W L. So uh, here, here we why we put is a, a positive sign uh, because uh, the some books they already already uh, re, uh, take out the negative uh, negative signs. Of the equation, so that so that's why the negative values they already take take out the negative value, so we put the equation uh, plus here. It's not a negative. Supposedly the original equation should be the negative. The sign should be negative. Okay, so the number six is repeat step two to four to five for every training data point. This actually this is means. We already finished one circles to get the to get the uh, data. So if we have a uh, hundred or thousand circles, we need to repeat from the step two to the step uh, step five. Actually, uh, one circle is similar. Uh, one uh, actually is is a when we finish is a one uh, approach. Is similar to do the training at already complete. So the training already complete. The whole data set, like we set it 100 circles. Then we finish the 100 circles. It called one uh, approach. And for the number seven, the steps actually it's the same. It's the same like the one. A pouch like we we can set hundreds a pouch a uh, thousand a pouch and when we finish the one a pouch then we repeat a two to six to finish the rest a pouch once we can finish the uh, the a pouch then we can get the optimized values okay uh, that's all for my presentation and thank you for listening and have a nice day bye